punchy. Holy smokes. <laughs> All right, back. welcome back to the channel. Flying right here. I am uh, headed to a local motorcycle dealer to test ride the new Honda Goldwing. So as you saw from my prior videos, I had uh, Flying Ride Senior here and uh, I actually rented the 2021 Rogue Glide. Did a bunch of videos on it. Make sure you check them out on my channel if you haven't seen them. And uh, he has been a Goldwing fan, frankly, all of his life. He's had a bunch of Hondas in the past and uh, just loves the motorcycle. I absolutely love my Harley Davidson 2020 Street Glide CVO and I've never ridden the Honda Goldwing. So I, I told him, look, I'm gonna go and check it out and uh, take it for a test run and see what the fuss is all about. Just like I've done with all the other bikes. I am a, a huge Harley Davidson fan. I will always have this Harley Davidson, but I do want to experience other bikes and see what it's like. And uh, as a matter of fact, one of um, one of my fellow YouTubers, Smitty, just bought a Goldwing. And uh, go check out his channel, by the way, if you've not uh, given him a follow. Great channel. He just got a Honda Goldwing. So um, he inspired me to go test ride. And uh, that's what I want to do. The dealer's about uh, 20 minutes from here. So uh, I'm going to take you on the ride. Uh, I do have a, a new camera holder here to give you this view that I'm testing out. So I'm going to go back and forth between the two. Enjoy the ride. And uh, I will show you my real-time experience experience from my first ever test ride on a Honda Goldwing. Beautiful day out today and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, testing out this uh, Honda Goldwing. This is uh, the one I'm testing out is the DCT version, so it's an automatic. So again, it'll be a completely new experience for me, and I'm gonna give you my real-time impressions for the first time I, uh, I ride a Honda Goldwing. So it uh, should be interesting, especially coming from a long-time Harley rider. All I've ever ridden was really, other than my, one of my first motorcycles, which was a Honda VTX 1300 which was a great bike, it was a great starter bike. All I've ever ridden was Harleys. So it's gonna be interesting to see. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna document the whole thing and record the whole thing so you can uh, experience it with me. So I will catch you on the road to the dealer. Town Freehold and the uh, dealer is uh, called Extreme Machines and it's in Millstone. It's about uh, eight miles from here. motorcycle parking oh that feels very nimble <laughs> yeah yeah it, it, it's got a good feel to it all right that's mine 2021 honda goldwing i can tell you right now i mean this this feels incredibly nimble super light incredibly well balanced that's literally my the, the first thing I felt. The seat is very comfortable. I mean, look look at this suspension. I mean, I can tell already that this is going to be dramatically more comfortable. That sounds pretty cool. And that's on Eco. Let's put it on Sport. That's Rain. Tour. 
sport. Obviously this bike comes with all these different modes. I'm not going to mess with it. This is, uh, I think this is drive. Yep, that's first gear. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it on tour. Let's see how this feels. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it already shifted. The riding position is completely different here. Wow, that's punchy. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm gonna take it locally here first. Wow, that's comfortable. Let me lift this uh, windshield. Oh, look at that. You can go up and down on the windshield here. can see it there I mean it's got some punch and that's on tour the shifting is incredibly smooth the bike is incredibly comfortable special shout out to Nick from uh, extreme machines I called him he said come on over he was awesome you saw he was helping me out get ready here I mean, the sitting position is dramatically different than on my Harley. I'm, not, I'm more upright, like my feet are in a completely different position. And uh, it's comfortable, I'm just not sure I like it. Maybe it'll take some getting used to. All right, I'm gonna put this thing on sport, sport mode here, let's see. Yeah, that's punchy, all right. And I'm so used to grabbing the clutch. This one obviously is the DCT automatic version, so no clutch. You can shift the gears right here if you wanted to. It's a big difference from uh, tour to sport. Let me tell you, it takes the bumps like nothing. You don't even feel it. Just shifted to third, just shifted to second, all on its own. Still in second. Wow, that moves. That's definitely faster than my Harley. I can tell you the only thing that I don't like about it so far is uh, it just feels the seating position feels like you're really forward relative to the handlebars. Wow, that's just uh, so comfortable. Let's turn around here. That is just uh, super smooth, very powerful. I know they make uh, aftermarket exhaust for this. So I would highly suggest if you're seriously considering this, you gotta change the exhaust on this because you can barely hear it. I mean, it's got a nice sound to it, but uh, definitely not for me. Let me show you the cockpit here. Bring down the windshield. Still on sport mode. I am flat footed and then again I'm 5'10 and a half.
So let me know down in the comments below if you've uh, ridden one of these before, what your thoughts are, especially coming from a Harley. Man, that just pulls you. It really does. I'm gonna slow down here and just take it right out of first gear. There's nobody behind me, so you can get a feel for it. All right, so this is right out of first gear on sport mode. Yeah, that's uh, that's very fast and uh, very powerful. Feels very torquey on sport. I can tell you the way my bike is right now, this bike will definitely beat it. I mean, not by much, but it'll definitely beat it. And it's so much faster with the automatic. No shifting, I mean, it just goes. It's, it's weird. There, there's times where I feel this would be so much faster and then there's times where I feel the pull on my throttle is just more torquey than this one. It's hard to tell. Again, you're hearing real-time reactions and impressions as I... Uh, see, right there, that felt very powerful. I mean, that feels like a sports bike, literally. Do me a favor, if you like this video, hit that like button. It uh, really helps out the channel. Also, remember to subscribe. Would love to have you as uh, the channel continues to grow. And uh, remember to hit that uh, bell icon so you can be reminded of uh, future updates. As you can see on this channel, I focus on moto vlogs, rides, product reviews, test rides, different motorcycles. I had the uh, 2021 Rogue Light Limited. This is the 2021 uh, Honda Goldwing. First time ever I'm riding this bike. Uh, so I'll take you with me on these rides and these reviews. So uh, hit that subscribe button. Again, I uh, would love to have you. I'm right around uh, 280 subscribers now. Thank you to everyone that's on We Are With Me. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate you watching, dedicating the time. I appreciate the comments. And uh, would love the channel to continue to grow. Obviously, my goal is to get over 1,000. And uh, welcome the opportunity to have you join and uh, be part of the channel. So there, I just shifted it manually. I don't know if you saw it. I'm going to shift a second right now. And then up here you go up. Ooh, that's smooth. All right, let's see how it feels on the highway. Wow. Man, this feels great. Let me tell you, if, they, if you could adjust the seating position on this somehow to be a little bit further back, Maybe the handlebar, is a, the handlebar is a little bit more forward. Let me tell you, uh, it feels pretty awesome. Let's hear the horn. Oh, wow, nice, nice horn. Brakes are fantastic, by the way. All right, and we're back. Extreme Machines. I'm gonna put it right next to, right next to mine so we can show you side-by-side -side comparison here. By the way, this apparently has reverse. That I'm not sure to how to engage. Nice and light anyway. Doesn't really need it.
that kickstand is very small feels weird nice little compartment here you can tell I have all my stuff there the bike feels great super powerful I'm gonna I'm gonna hop back on my bike and I'm gonna give you my uh, my overall impressions first time riding a 2021 Honda Goldwing all right welcome back everybody we are back on my 2020 Street Glide CVO. All right, we've got a lot to talk about and unpack here. There is nothing, nothing like a Harley. Dip. I figured I would start with that overall impression. All right, let's uh, let's let's talk about what I just experienced. So, as a quick reminder, that was the first time I've ever ridden a Honda Goldwing, and uh, you can tell from my reactions as I was riding it that uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that bike and I thoroughly enjoyed that ride, and. Uh, for all of our friends that have it, let me tell you, congratulations. It's, a, it's an amazing, amazing machine. I can see, for those that have it, why they do. Super, super comfortable. I don't think I've ever ridden a more comfortable motorcycle. Also, when, you, uh, when you're using it on automatic mode, super smooth. And uh, shifting all of those gears. You saw it in the video. I mean, it has plenty of power on Tour, which is where I had it originally. I didn't ride it on Eco, and frankly, I probably would never ride it on Eco if I had it. But once you put that thing on sport mode, holy smokes, it's got power. It's torquey. And that's without any upgrades. I'm sure that there are upgrades that you can make it and make it even more powerful. I know that there's aftermarket exhaust that you can put on them. Likely will give it more power. Uh, the sound definitely has to change. Like, that's the first thing that I would do is put an aftermarket exhaust on there because you just, you know, the sound is just lackluster, frankly. I, I wasn't crazy about uh, the sitting position. It just feels like you're crammed up forward. Maybe it's because I like to be nice and extended. This just feels incredibly comfortable, this position for me that you see me here right now. Uh, so it'll take some getting used to. I don't know if you can do uh, aftermarket handlebars or change the positions. I'm sure you could. That's the, that's probably the only, uh, you know, real constructive feedback that I have in terms of my overall impression. I mean, everything else is just positive. What it ultimately comes down to is, you know, do you like the style of that bike compared to a Harley? And that's where, I mean, just hands down, and this is of course my opinion, the look of this motorcycle compared to that I mean just night and day and of course that bike is beautiful nothing against that bike but this is just my personal preference I just love the way that this bike looks but there's just something about the design of these motorcycles the timeless aspect of these street glides I mean no matter what year it is you can you know it's a street glide when you're looking at it and I have uh, legend suspension on this bike both front and back and that dramatically improved the motorcycle, but uh, the rideability of that Honda Goldwing and the comfort, and you could even see the suspension moving, I just don't think this suspension compares to that. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Would love, uh, would love to hear those of you that have, uh, that have made the shift over. Let me know your comments below, what you think overall, comparison points, what you think about the bike. I uh, respond to all of the comments, so I invite you to join the conversation and let me know your thoughts. It would be cool to experience that bike with, uh, with a clutch. That's the way that I would go if I was uh, considering the bike. So there you have it, folks. Those are my real-time impressions from my first ride ever on a Honda Goldwing. So that's going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It really uh, helps out the channel. And uh, also remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of uh, future content. Thanks for watching.